In this video, I'm just going to take a quick look at how to uh, price uh, a bond. So typical features of a bond, uh, it has a face and it has a coupon structure. And we, um, if we know the parameter inputs, so for instance, if the bond has a face of 100, coupon rate of 10%, discount rate 10%, periodicity or frequency of coupon payment of twice a year and if it's a three-year bond we can get the present value of that bond by discounting the coupons so there's a coupon structure the coupon is discounted using a loop type structure the coupon is estimated by taking the coupon rate divided by the frequency of the uh, coupon payment times the face so that's the coupon and that's discounted each period and that goes into a, a loop type structure where we build up accumulatively the present value of the coupons and then once we pass through this loop we then go and discount the face and we add the a bond value in other words the accumulated coupons to the discounted face and then we return the bond value so okay let's just uh, copy this code for a moment just take the code and copy try that again so we take the code right click copy go into an online compiler online compiler and I typically use this one C++ compiler and we just remove the embedded code and paste code from the document which I will leave in a link below the video and we could beautify in other words get the curly brackets to line up uh, with each other and uh, have the same indentation um, on the code okay and then we can run that code and because the the bond is a power bond we get a value of um, 100. If the discount rate, however, is increased to 12%, so if we increase the discount rate to 12%, the value of the bond should be below uh, the par. So we raise the discount rate, all else being equal, the value of the bond will drop. If we reduce the discount rate, so we take out, if we remove the discount rate or reduce it to 8% the value of the bond will be higher than the face value and we just run that okay we get a value of 105.242 that's fine and um, our bond is good to go so our so our bond could be checked a little bit more thoroughly and one way of doing that is to take an existing value that we verified uh, by estimating manually um, some um, figures that we had before and we'll take a look at those now okay so let's say we have uh, a bond where the coupon is, is going to be paid twice a year um, and we're going to discount at 5.6 percent the coupon rate is equal to so we can take the values that we have here the parameters would be coupon of six percent discount rate 5.6 three years maturity m equal to two and then um, okay let's input those numbers in and see that we get a thousand and ten ninety one like what we have here okay so we change our parameter inputs to reflect those ones uh, face of a thousand we're going to say a coupon rate of 6%, so 0, uh, 6, a discount rate of 5%, so we take a discount rate of 0 0.056, we just put in 0, 0.056, uh, the payment on the coupon is twice a year, and then for a three-year maturity, let's run that and verify, do we get 1,000 and 10.91? And we do so uh, the numbers um, are consistent with the worked manual example we had before so the value we obtain is consistent with 
the 1010.91 that we have here. Okay, so just to see that again, 1010.91. I'll leave a link, I'll share this. So if we click here on share, we get the a link directly to the code. We just copy that. And then if you want to open this on your laptop or tablet, it's possible. So I'll just copy that code and paste into below uh, the video.